Here you got the agent who's got this known killer is watching over him. So right while he was standing there, watching him, guarding him, standing guard, uh, the, the agent installed the microphone and uh, thinking he was fixing what he was supposed to be fixing. With the bug planted, the FBI began the task of monitoring Paul's day-to-day -day life. Over the next four and a half months, the FBI recorded over 600 hours of conversations. I think 70% of those tapes were recipes and conversations. Somebody should have made a cookbook out of it, you know. Uh, but uh, we, we were facing some uh, not very nice conversations in the sense that they were, uh, they were clearly talking about business and how they were going to slice up business. With the audio tapes rolling, Paul outlined mafia business, badmouthed other family bosses, and made loving asides to his maid. He was digging a hole for himself and the entire New York Mafia. Most of the evidence came from the FBI's tap on the Long Island home of Angelo Ruggiero, nicknamed Quack Quack because he talked so much. Angelo was one of the biggest talkers you ever wanted to find. Angelo would go up to visit Paul Castellano on Sundays uh, with Neil Delacroce and John Gotti. And Castellano would talk about a lot of things.